Good morning everybody, Stevie here from Never Too Late to Travel. Come back here again to uh, Patum Tani this morning because we didn't uh, have time to uh, visit all the museums and all the stuff that's available uh, yesterday. So uh, this morning decided to come back and uh, start uh, looking at a few more things. And uh, now we're just outside the uh, Natural History Museum. Uh, looked on the website last night. This place also looks interesting. So with that, before all the school children get in, we'll uh, get in and have a look around. And with that, uh, I'll invite you to join me. As you can see, all the school children here this morning with their teachers. Uh, so let's get in and uh, have a look before they uh, descend on the place. I hope you find some uh, interesting stuff in here. Uh, obviously, all about history. Have a little bit of a, a prehistoric park outside the door. <laughs> and uh, quite a few exhibits in the corner. Where's the entrance, honey? Up here. Where's the entrance? Nice little uh, garden area before we go in. So that's a, just a little bit of an outside view of the uh, garden area outside the entrance. So with that we're going to head off inside and uh, see what we can discover in there guys. Looks like a sabre toothed tiger. Not entirely sure the paint's worked off it a bit. And uh, here we have the entrance with the wife waiting outside. <coughs> A few of my uh, relatives uh, laid here waiting for me to uh, come in. So again, it's going to be uh, <coughs> one of these uh, exhibitions that's uh, quite dark inside, but uh, hopefully the uh, lights on the display will uh, give you an indication of what we're actually looking at. And more video interactive displays. Uh, 
and uh, here we have a display of how did uh, living things uh, originate. Well, for many years human beings have tried to find the answer to the origin of the uh, life along long human history. Uh, I don't think anybody's ever got there yet, but uh, maybe we'll learn something today. Interesting wall display there. Uh, atoms and molecules and cells. Uh, I'm sure the kids will find very, very uh, exciting. And uh, nice model there of the organs of the uh, human body. I don't know what this one's actually supposed to do, but... I don't think this is uh, as big as the other two museums that we went into yesterday, but uh, hopefully it's going to be equally as interesting for you, uh, although the displays might not be that exciting. Maybe it'll get a little bit better as we go along. And this is the Mesozoic area. Uh, again, it's one of these areas I've never ever heard at. Uh, certainly not when I was at school anyway. This one looks like a, a woolly mammoth. It was extant many, many, many years ago. It's a nice little model of one there. And the uh, hunter-gatherers uh, trying to kill it. Something about snails there, land snail and slew, I believe. <laughs> Quite interesting shapes inside, but uh, nothing that uh, really rocks my boat. diversity of life it looks like now we're opening up into a more interesting area of the uh, museum little games that the uh, kids can play when they come in here little quiz basically and uh, here, uh, quite an interesting board of the ecosystem. This area more about uh, plants and uh, fauna. Quite some interesting uh, exhibits here. And in this area it's a little bit uh, better lit so you've got uh, an idea of uh, what's on display. Uh, hear a little bit about the wild yam. So again, it's one of these museums with a 
a lot to see if you're interested in this uh, kind of things I mean some people are, are very interested in history and some very interested in archaeology etc so it's uh, basically it's horses for courses interesting display about fungi and uh, how mushrooms grow one of the things I'm quite interested in now is uh, different types of mushrooms and how they use as uh, different supplements some interesting exhibits here got a blotch porcupine fish there angel fish you'll find them in uh, many uh, aquariums these days and one of the favorite uh, typhoons mackerel more displays there uh, various fish some uh, wild birds I must say the uh, the models that they uh, put on display here have been very very uh, well manufactured Got some floor displays. And again guys it depends on your interest of uh, different subjects and uh, finding something that uh, rocks your boat some more interesting displays never seen an animal like that before it looks like some kind of a pig but uh, no idea what it is very very unusual somebody knows what it is please tell me some nice wall art in here I'm not going to dwell on pictures guys I'm sure that you've seen hundreds over the times the idea is to give you a flavor of what's here Sadly, a few Thai teachers control their groups. Uh, they're basically let to uh, run wild, and uh, nine times out of ten, they have no respect for anybody. A 
have a nice uh, theatre here with a video. Yeah, the last dinosaur died. Last, last dinosaur died. And this one they like find somewhere to live. Okay. Apparently it's a video of the last dinosaur, but uh, we're not going to dwell on that. Got uh, a room here where I presume they have uh, small lectures for the children and they can take uh, part in various activities. A lot of the museums in Thailand do offer interactive activities with their uh, clients, so it's uh, always good to see. These are all about skeletons. different uh, types of uh, pelvis bone there a very very small to very very large so quite a few interesting displays here guys uh, that rather looks like some kind of goat, judging by the horns, and a tortoise or a turtle underneath. This looks like uh, whale bone, to be honest. I thought at first it was elephant, but uh, judging by the backdrop, it's uh, some kind of whale. a big uh, skeleton of a snake there And here we have a board about skeletal fun and fact. <coughs> so let's head off up these stairs and uh, see what else it can uh, tell us about history. Wife below just really enjoying herself, she really likes museums, uh, probably more than I do. <laughs> so 
staff reading room. So let's head off into the corner and find out what's in this room. So this room appears to be all about uh, the horns that you'll find on different animals and a few birds there in the corner obviously they have beaks not horns but why they're in here I don't know and uh, so our GoPro again switched off and I had to repair the file uh, common occurrence uh, sadly with the GoPro I must stop talking about it actually because it just really winds me up every day when I'm trying to make a vlog To be honest guys, I don't know how many floors there are in here, probably only a couple. Uh, I don't think it's uh, that too big a building. So I think that virtually concludes our uh, short tour of the uh, history museum uh, I'm led to believe that there is another interesting room on the uh, way out so uh, we'll go and see if we can discover that and then uh, later we'll uh, head off and try and find some other place to go to oh miss this skeleton tails which is quite interesting very very nice uh, displays here Some nice specimens in there of different fish. Miniature pig. Mm, giant sponge. <clears throat> so 
some really really nice specimens in here guys interesting uh, display there explaining the internal characteristics of fish bones and uh, how they use for uh, classification very very interesting some of the displays here have been very very well presented guys crustaceans of uh, Thailand and uh, land snails all interesting stuff don't you agree Australian uh, trumpet shell there Nice giant sponge there. So guys, I had to stop and repair another file. Don't know what's happening with the GoPro this morning. It's either overheating or uh, breaking down. So with that guys, that uh, brings us uh, to the uh, walk around the uh, Natural History Museum here in uh, Patum Tani. Mm -hmm.